Greetings from South Sudan. My name is Abir Samuel Garang, and on behalf of our World Beyond War family, South Sudan Country Team, and the Ignite Cycle Program for Children, we wish to assure you that we are committed to advocating for a world free from war and ugliness of the war system. South Sudan is a country that has for decades bore the burdens of conflicts and war with entire generations, being born into war, growing up in it, and eventually dying in them. Suffering and the war system are the only realities most of us in South Sudan have known. In this volatile and fragile environment, the ones that suffer most are the most vulnerable ones, composed of children, women, and the disabled. This fact is evidenced in the recent United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, report that shows out of the 12.4 million total population of South Sudan, 8.9, which is 71.8% million, are in urgent need of humanitarian interventions, with 1.4 million being internally displaced, 1.2 million returnee refugees, 350,000 new refugees, and 1.3 million being people with a physical disability or mental disability. Like all war-torn environments, South Sudan is an unfriendly place for all vulnerable peoples, with the majority of the victims being children who directly get killed, maimed, or succumb to war and conflict-related ills, with their lives irreparably shattered. For example, various aid agencies have continuously reported that in South Sudan, the capacity of the Ministry of General Education and Instruction to respond to the needs of children remains very limited. Thus, so many children fall in between the cracks of war. Further studies predict that this year, extreme level of food insecurity and malnutrition will be affecting two thirds of the country's population, making South Sudan one of the worst food insecure emergencies in the world. An estimated 8.3 million people, including refugees, are expected to experience severe food insecurity at the peak of the 2020 lean season, which is May to July. Most of those who will suffer are going to be children. The above show that conflict in South Sudan weighs heavily more on children and has become the disruption of the innocent and what many call the killing of children. As an active refugee and a previous South Sudan war afflicted child shaped by the trauma and limitations of basically everything, I survived and still undergoing trying to actualize dreams with a head still socially held underwater and an uncertain future has muted me into a staunch peace activist and community peace mobilizer so that hopefully nobody gets to experience the fragility of conflict and the war system. The dual personality has made me good at quickly adapting to every situation I find myself in, but unlike all other people who have been shaped by trauma, conflict or deep pains, I have by choice decided to face every challenge with a smile and a belief that however deep trauma can be healed, when we are willing to let it in a little peace, love, sympathy, and empathy for others. And whatever it might take, that you at least don't be the reason why others should suffer by your actions or inactions. Finally, I wish to emphasize that as much as all might sound dark and gloomy, a ray of hope exists. And this can be found within all of us when we are genuinely and equitably decided to not be the grease that oils the war machine in our small ways, and especially not being the cause of death or suffering of children. With a simple daily self-reprogramming message of commitments that will act as a promise to our children. Through you, I and us all acknowledging that I will not be a part of the killing of any child, no matter how lofty the reasons. Not my neighbor's child, not my child, not the enemy's child, not by bomb, not by bullets, not by looking the other way. And that you, I, and us will be the power that is peace. Thank you, and I hope you join this great movement.